So I wanted to put a big cam in the 223 stroker, something bigger than the 275 that's in there. So I ordered up this Paul's Carts PK RPM3 cam. But the only thing is with this cam, it's recommended for a big valve, small chamber head, which the 223 doesn't have right now. I have one on order, but it hasn't got here yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this cam anyway on this bike with the 58 millimeter stroker kit. It has a Tillerson 225 R head, small valve head. So the last time I took this bike out with this combo, it did around 70 miles an hour top speed and 4.400 to 30. So it'll be interesting to see with the small valve head and the big cam, how it changes the performance on the bike versus the 275 cam. I just had a better idea. I think I'll take the Paul's cart cam and I'll throw it in the Tillerson 225. And that way when the head comes in, I'll put the head on the Tillerson 225. And then later on, I can add a 58 millimeter stroker crank and have a 236. Yeah, I think the big valve head will definitely work better with a 236 versus a 223. So I already pretty much know how fast this bike is with a 223. So I'll swap out the 225 onto this frame. And that way I can test how fast the 225 is compared to the 223 as I add the cam and the head. Pull the Tilly off of this bike. Pull this Tilly off of here. Pull a 223 off this one. So you can use the same carb on the Tilly on this bike. Pull this tank off of here. This engine off of here. So we got the 223 and the 225. So swap these two out and then put the Pulse Cart cam in the 225. And I got the Tillerson 225 side cover on the 223. And now I'm gonna put the uh, 223 side cover on the Tilly to go back on the other bike. Swap out the Noram Cheetah clutch for the Juggernaut. Throw that on the Tilly. Pull the side cover off this thing and throw in the Pulse Cart cam. And then I'll install this side cover. So I got the Tilly off there, got everything swapped over. Swap out this Tillerson 265 cam for the Paul's cart cam. Pull this 265 out of here. So you have the Tillerson 265 cam and then the Paul's cart cam. So Paul doesn't give out his cam specs. So it's really hard to tell what the um, lift and duration is on this cam, but I have measured it like I did in this video. So I know it's in the threes on the lift, but that's about all I know about it. Put some oil on this thing. Let's see if we can get these marks right. Okay, you got it. All right, so we got the dowel pins in there. That in play feels pretty good. So, because I don't know the cam specs, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this head off of here and clay it just to make sure. Even though I'm only using one-to-one -one rockers on this thing right now, it still be nice to know the clearances, so later on, when I put 1.2s or 1.3s on it, with the big valve head, I don't know how much clearance I have. So I'm gonna pull this head off here. Put some clay on this thing. Put oil on there, that way the valves don't stick. And this head gasket, I think it's around 48 thousandths, so it's nice and thick. So 
gonna set the valve lash and ran this thing over a couple times. Let me pull this head off and we'll see um, how much clearance we have on that clay. So the valve has never touched the clay. I got all kinds of pistons to valve clearance. So that's with a 50 thousandths head gasket or 48 thousandths head gasket. So this thing's got plenty of room with that cam. So Paul recommends 1.2 or 1.3 ratio rockers with that cam. So with 1.1s, this thing is has no problem with clearance. I'll probably clay it again once I install the big valve head and the 1.3 ratio rockers. Okay, throw the valve cover on here and fill this back on the bike. We got the engine set back on there. Throw the pipe on here. Throw this carb on here. So on this tilly, I'm gonna have to make a mount for the tank to fit. So I'll just run a piece of angle right here underneath here and bolt to this little plate and the bolt to my mount should be easy enough pull this plate off of here so I can get the dimensions for the holes so we drill those holes out so I got the bracket drilled out Drop this tank on here. All right, yeah, it looks like it's gonna work out pretty good. Just put my bolts through there. Gas tank mount turned out pretty good. It'll be interesting to see what this Paul's cart cam does in this thing with a small valve head. So we'll see now if we can beat, I think it's four seconds, zero to 30, 4.01, and 71.42 miles per hour. I think it did top speed last time around with this gear ratio with the um, 223 stroker. So we'll see what it does with the 225 with the Paul's cart cam. I won't be surprised if it's a little bit slower because the, um, the cam's designed for a big valve, small chamber head, but we'll see. We got for the first zero to 30 a 4.26 let me try that again so it's a couple tenths off from the um, 223 so far Two 
125 Paul's Carts Cam. A 4.25. So a 4.25 and a 4.26. So it's a couple tenths slower from 0 to 30 with a 225 versus a 223. So let me do a top speed run and see if we can beat 71 miles an hour. What it did for top speed top speed of 66.99 67 miles an hour so we dropped about four miles per hour and two tenths so with the tilly 225 the bike was a little slower and not as quick so the 223 the bike did 4.01 0 to 30 and 71.42 top speed then i installed the tilly 225 with a pulse cart cam and it did 4.25 so i lost a couple tenths from 0 to 30 and 66.99 so lost about four miles per hour so it's not surprising because the cam is designed for a small chamber big valve head so the small chamber big valve heads on the way and then i'll have to pick up some 1.3 ratio rockers i think that'll make quite a bit of a difference 